Okay, the question was, uh, is it already too late for the Western Balkans? I'm of the opinion it's not. And why? Um, I believe, and I've had the experience here since five years in this village where I live, in the northern part of Montenegro, that it takes the self-understanding and, and value understanding of the local people to uh, develop their place in a very you know, sensible manner. Regarding why do we want tourism? Why is it important and what kind of people do we want into our homes has been a question we have discussed a lot here. And obviously one of our challenges is to help people understand what is of value here. It is the authenticity of this place and the nature and the culture and the way of living. And it's nothing we should be running away from. Value, not volume, is the kind of travelers we want here. Hikers, bikers, adventure travelers. And adventure today is bringing 67% of the local income to the locals uh, and not into some international chains. In the Wilderness Hiking and Biking Project of Montenegro, we found out that about 1 million was spent into the infrastructure, the mapping, the education, setting up the, the whole framework for new kind of tourism in the back country, connect, connecting it better with the, with the coastal side and like having people understand the concept of a destination, a place. So um, the way to move forward to the future is good understanding for protection of the nature, uh, people, planet and profit. That's, that's the story of sustainability that should be realized. Uh, from local to the national level and by the